All right, so I'm heading over to the uh, Volkswagen dealership at, uh, what is that, VW Peoria or Lund's Peoria Volkswagen, I don't remember the name of it. It's a place that I always go to get my car serviced. Yesterday when I was leaving my dad's house since it was Father's Day, I got a check oil level message on my dash. And so what I did was I popped the hood obviously and I pulled out the dipstick and it was completely dry. So I did it again and it was still completely dry. And I was like, okay, well, I gotta go home anyways. So I started driving and my the, the check oil light turned off. So I no longer have a light or anything that says to check my oil levels. Hopefully it's nothing major. Hopefully I just need to put my oil in there. I hope I'm not driving with it dry because otherwise I'm pretty much trashing my motor as I'm driving it. So I don't recommend that for any of you if that does happen to you as well. And I guess I'll catch you at the uh, dealership. I was telling her that my uh, uh, oil light came on yesterday. It's a little weird. Yeah. I can check real quick and make sure that there's actually like not a leak. Okay, I appreciate it. So your camber is just starting to leak. So like you look, see right this there. corner right here, and then like all the build up. How much is that? Uh, I don't know. I can get you pricing for it. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I just finished uh, talking to one of the express service guys over there. Uh, he was showing me kind of an area that looked like it was kind of leaking where a seal should have been. And so that, to me, that's good service. And that's what I'm used to when I come to Lund's Peoria Volkswagen. And that's the service that I've always gotten when I had an actual advisor there as well. Um, my advisor actually left the company not too long ago. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know, but even in the service department, there's salespeople, and those are usually the service advisors. Now, sometimes you can get a good advisor, sometimes you can get a bad advisor. And what I mean by that is a bad advisor would be somebody that strictly pushes the sales and doesn't really have the people aspect of it. And so after the uh, express service technician talked to the advisor trying to get me an approximate quote of what it could cost if that is what it is, um, her response is that I need to get a full diagnostic that costs $99.95 in order to determine if that is the issue, which obviously we just saw that there's a leak there, so there's a 99.999% chance that that is the issue. Um, but instead, she kind of pushed the subject and said, we don't know the pricing if that is what it is. Her kind of response with that, in, like I was saying, is that she was pushing it that she doesn't know a price range. Really, all I said was, okay, I appreciate it, I'll think about it, and then I was going to walk away when she said, normally what we would see if that is the issue is from $1,200 to $2,400. She just told me she has no idea a range, and then she gives me a range when I decide not to do her $99.95 diagnostic that she apparently has time to do after she told me when I first got there that she doesn't have time to even check to see what my issue is with my car to begin with. The advisor that I had before, he was a great guy and actually he is one of my friends now too. It kind of sucks that it goes from one person that is friendly, does still make sales, and is still able to help out the customers on things that they need, quick questions, things like that. Just a general idea and, and that's what I was looking for today. And unfortunately the advisor here, she did not provide that. I say she because it makes it more specific so you guys can help avoid that. I will tell you if I get that kind of service from Volkswagen Peoria once again, I will not come to this dealership again. When you guys know I have so many videos where I came here and paid to get my service and I'll tell you they have never once sponsored any of my videos. It's not about getting paid for certain things, it's more about getting the service and if I'm able to help you guys get the same good service that I like to get myself then I'm all down for that but if I'm gonna get bad service I'll definitely let you guys know as well because that to me is not cool. To go from not being able to tell me a price to quoting me in a ginormous range from $1,200 to $2,400, I think is completely ridiculous and that's not the service that anybody anywhere should receive. So if she is just a salesperson, she needs to go work on the sales side of the car dealership, not the service side. I hope this wasn't too bad of a rant for you guys. Uh, the other things that I have to do is I have to wash my car. 
I've been kind of avoiding that and it's because I've been traveling a lot lately. I've gone to uh, Prescott, Flagstaff, I drove on Route 66 for a little while a couple weeks ago. I didn't make any videos on those things because I did it more family related because I haven't been spending too much time with my family lately. So I definitely wanted to do that and I apologize for not bringing you guys along with me. Um, but we're gonna do that today. We're gonna get a car wash and the other thing I have to do is something that I've put off for about a year and a half now and that is cleaning my uh, K&N cold air intake. I've put that on. It was April of 2017. I believe you're good for about 20 to 25,000 miles on it. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember. But let's just say that it's due to be cleaned. Other than that, you guys will see me at the car wash next. All right, so I just got to the car wash. I'm in the stall right now. Um, this one is specifically at 67th and Thunderbird. I don't come to this one all the time, but every once in a while, this is one of the ones that is kind of on the way. All right, just, so I just finished uh, washing my car. Now I just gotta dry it. What I did was I parked in the shadow here so I look like a jackass. Uh, but in Arizona, the goal is to dry your car before the sun does. So I have, I don't know, was that about three feet of sun to uh, before uh, I start getting my car dried by the sun? Look, it's already starting to dry, and it just barely pulled out of the the freaking bay there. All right, catch you guys in a little bit. A thousand times better than it did before. Also, since I'm on the panda sticker right here, uh, one of my friends actually sent me a picture of somebody else that they saw driving down the road with the panda sticker. I wanted to give him a quick shout out. I'm not sure whose car it was, but it was a white GTI. Um, if you also want to get a panda sticker, send me a DM in either Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter. I'll send you out a couple stickers. All right, so I'm in my super tiny garage. Um, I never do videos here anymore because this garage at my current apartment is super small. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to take the uh, cold air intake out. This is what I'm using. It is KNN Recharger Air Filter Cleaner Kit. I've used it before. It's just been a while. It has some cool instructions on the side. First thing it says is uh, to apply the cleaner to the filter, uh, then rinse it off, then dry it, then oil the filter. Okay, so if you're looking right there, that's actually supposed to be like a pink color, which is what it originally was. So we got to get it back to that because right now it is super black and super dirty. It says to spray the cleaner on it. Uh, now it says to rinse it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to bring it inside because there's no hose spigot or anything by me. Um, right now, I can't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's actually gray. It's no longer black, which is pretty crazy. It used to look like this. Now it looks like that. That was like a pretty immediate change as soon as I started rinsing it. Um, the last thing that I have to do though is with this oil stuff, it says air filter oil. Um, so I guess you just spray it on. Okay, well it doesn't say how much to spray, it just says oil. It looks like I got every section of it. Um, so I'm going to leave it out there again. It is super wet. I'm going to let it dry. Well, I'll tell you, this looks insanely better than it did before. You can see that it is that uh, pinkish red color that it's supposed to be to begin with. So it took me long enough, but I finally cleaned my k air filter. Uh, that's pretty much everything I was going to do for this video, so uh, be sure to leave a like, a comment. Be sure to follow me on my social media. You can find me at FrankieGisMe on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And thank you again for watching another video by FrankieGisMe, and I'm out.